Hey bikes, today we have a look-alike celebrity match and more information about distracted driving. I'm Ryan. And I'm Darren, and this is your Daily News. Prepare for something amazing. <laughs> hey, my sis, what's up? <laughs> I love my mommy! <laughs> I will never forgive you! <laughs> Larry! This month is Distracting Driving Awareness. This week's video is on messing with your radio. Let's go check it out. Throughout the month of April, SAFE will be rewarding students who have pledged to wear their seatbelt and drive safe. Super saving store wide and take home a free 12 pack of Coke with. Remember, Vikes, keep your eyes on the road, not the radio. Sagas has another episode. Here's a sneak peek. Hi, I'm Madison Dean, and welcome back to another show of Sagas. Today we'll be sharing stories about the boys' swim team, a day on the farm, seatbelt safety, and March for our lives. It will be up on SEMANews.com at 7.30. Now, your daily news announcements. Come to the One Act Play tonight and tomorrow at 7. The tickets are $5. Nancy Geis will be here during seminar on Monday to tell the story of a Holocaust survivor. Battle of the Band tickets will be on sale Monday and Tuesday during lunch for $3. They will also be sold at the door for 5 the Flint Hill Writing Project is hosting a Words Matter writing camp. Applications can be found on the website and are due May 4th. Genesis Health Club is currently accepting applications for summer employment. Applicants must be high school seniors that enjoy engaging with kids ages 6 through 12. Applications can be filled out at Genesis Health Club. Students interested in taking driver's ed this summer should enroll now. Cost is $175. Contact Mr. Mr. Tinsley for more information. If you're interested in being a part of Stuco, come see Mr. Riley in W17 or Mrs. Aliker in the Counselor's Cove. Now, over to sports with me. Battle of the Bands! Wednesday, 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 April 25th, 7.30 p.m. Battle of the Bands! Live rock and roll, one night only, here. Battle of the Bands! Strategery, part two. The Nick Brady Experience. Taylor Godmood. Untamed Mustang. Battle of the Bands! Audience chooses the champion. Battle of the Bands! Three dollars in advance, five dollars at the door. Be there, be there, be there. Battle of the Bands! Sponsored by Seaman High School Key Club, charity fundraiser for Ben Beard. Driver's Ed starts on April 2nd and will go until May 1st. The cost is $175. Classes every day from 9.30 to 11.30 in the band room, June 4th through the 22nd. Students will take four tests and drive at least six hours in the student parking lot. If interested, contact Mr. Tinsley. Get your sports physical done by May 12th. Cost is $20. If you actually want to see a win at Kauffman Stadium this season, season, Seaman Baseball will be playing Hayden on Saturday at noon. There's no cost to park or attend the game. It's free to the public. Now, let's go check out the rain chances for this weekend with the one and only weatherman, Josh. That's right, Ryan. Rain chances have increased for tomorrow, and it is now looking likely 
that we will see at least some rain throughout your Saturday. Here's your headlines. We are trucking a cool weekend ahead with those rain chances here and there and really not much sunshine at all through the next five days. Tonight, showers are possible mainly after midnight before we drop down to 44 degrees. And then tomorrow I have lowered the high dramatically. Now it looks like we'll be stuck in the 40s all day long with periods of light to moderate rain, although it will not be heavy rain the entire time. And here's a closer look at the time. You can see the most likely time is going to be from the morning through the evening hours with a chance of an isolated sprinkle continuing possibly as late as Sunday morning. And in terms of amounts, we're looking at generally a tenth of an inch to a half inch of rain with the heaviest amounts further south and west. And luckily, that's where they need it the most. An exceptional drought is developing across southwest Kansas. It should help ours out just a little bit as well. And now for your SVTV five day forecast, you can see that after that cooler day on Saturday, Sunday, we do rebound to 60 degrees and then 60s next week with a slight rain chance Tuesday night. In the longer range, this is the Climate Prediction Center outlook for May through July, which finally shows some warmer than average temperatures. Today in history, Shamar Moore turns 48 and it's National Lookalike Day. Now, back to your anchors. Don't forget to watch Saga at 7.30 on SemanNews.com. We're going to leave you with a special lookalike celebrity match. Have a great rest of your day. Hey Vikes, it's National Twin Day, so we're going to be bringing you another segment of Celebrity Match. But today is a little different. Instead of focusing on multiple people like we normally do, we're going to be focusing on one very special person in particular. Let's go check it out. Come on, Cinderella, we got to get you ready for the ball. So I haven't been to prom for several years. I used to have to go every year because I was a junior class sponsor. And so this year I know I was going to prom. Um, my brother has an orange tux because he used to wear it to, I guess, his friend's weddings just for fun. And so I said, hey, you still got the orange tux? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, can I wear it? And so he, I was down in Kansas City for soccer and uh, he gave it to me so I could wear it to prom. Uh, I felt, thought it'd be kind of fun, and since I don't go very often, I figured I'd dress up and have some fun with it. Um, so that's why I have an orange tux, or that's why I was wearing orange tux. Lloyd Christmas is a character played by uh, Jim Carrey from the movie Dumb and Dumber. Um, it's one of those uh, movies that probably everybody should watch. And so, uh, you know, growing up, um, I know I watched Dumb and Dumber, and so I was very much aware of the part where Lloyd Christmas uh, wears his orange tuxedo, and so I thought that'd be pretty fun to do. So I knew I had a, I could get my hands on an orange tuxedo, and so I was, of course, Lloyd. Um, I asked Mr. Riley to get a blue tuxedo, but uh, either uh, it was not cost effective for him or he chickened out, I'm not sure which. Um, so he was supposed to be. Uh, the other guy. So Mr. Riley, you know, expected me to, to be able to do the dance, and so I really can't do the dance, but I tried my best to do a dance uh, wearing my orange tuxedo just to be able to pull off the part of Lloyd Christmas, um, and so, um, you know, we, I had some fun with it. On a side note, I think my brother's grown up because I don't think he wants his orange tux anymore, so he said he was willing to sell it. So anybody's really willing to pay some money for an orange tuxedo, he's willing to depart with, or part with it. 